What is going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be doing a review of my 30 foot Kaufman gooseneck. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get into it. Right here you can see it was manufactured on January 26th of 2023. Uh, you can see my name there and Heron Montana. So let's get into all the options that I got on this trailer. Now I don't know every little detail, but uh, we'll go ahead and start out with saying this trailer is a deluxe. Uh, what the deluxe gives you i'm pretty sure is the led lighting that is all concealed up under the frame you get the cross members cut through on the i-beam so your deck sits lower i think they said about five inches lower than the regular trailer so it does sit lower which is nice um, i think those are the only two things the deluxe gives you not 100 percent sure it might make these ramps standard as well not exactly sure on that anyways the other options that i went with were obviously the ramps i did that and then i did the spare tire because that's unfortunately that's an option nowadays they don't just come with a spare tire like you would think it's got the two i think they call them two 12k jacks they're pretty heavy duty they're pretty nice i keep them greased obviously so you drop them down you jack it up i've jacked it up with probably 10 or twelve thousand on there and it was easy felt just like you know it does empty almost so those are the options. I didn't go with the winch. I wish I would have, but I didn't, you know, and they said it'd slow production down. So we just went with no winch. Um, I'm going to have somebody fabricate and install one on here for me because that would be super handy for hauling cars. You know, I've already had to do a lot. Um, we'll talk about why this deck looks so rough for being a new trailer here in a second. We got the Pink Panther riding with us here. Rode with us all the way from North Carolina been a real trooper so anyways that's kind of just your quick overview of the trailer it's a 30 footer uh, or other known as a 25 plus 5 which just means that you have 25 foot of solid deck and then the 5 foot dovetail with the ramps that fold up so let's go ahead and talk about some of the things i love about the trailer and then we'll talk about the things i don't like about the trailer because there's obviously plenty of things i love the way this trailer hooks up uh, i don't know if this is just standard on modern trailers or whatever but basically, this here emergency brake disconnect, you pull this out and all you have to do is push it back in so there's no panicking. Oh, I ripped it out on accident and now we're stranded. Now you just plug it back in. So that's super nice. It's got these big, nice, heavy duty chains. You know, this is pretty much standard stuff on most trailers, but I just like the way this is all set up. You know, I like the, the hooks and the, you know, I love the seven way here. Everything about this is just a super nice setup that I like. You know, I got the adjustable, a uh, coupler here that way you know different height of trucks you see when i bought it they lowered it down one to fit on the six seven better um so i love that um i love the jacks they're super heavy duty they work great i love that it has a toolbox but there's also something about that that i hate that i'll get into here in a second i love the step here i love that the wiring is concealed for the light so you don't have to worry about hitting it on anything or them getting snagged. I like the LED lights. See, they're all concealed in that tube. I like that we have this bar here that you could pop loose and you could stand your ramps up 90 degrees. So if you have to pull something on here and you can't close your ramps, it's not at the end of the world. I like the spring assist ramps that aren't too terribly heavy. They are heavy enough. You have this option here to latch your ramps down. I don't fool with it because these ain't never going to pop open. Haven't had it happen yet, anyway. Uh, the trailer brakes work great, so happy with the trailer brakes. Um, so far, trouble-free in 6,000 miles. Haven't really had any issues. And I've pulled probably the maximum heaviest load I've pulled on here was probably almost 20,000 on the deck. Okay, so anyways, other things I like. This deck is, you know, solid 2 by 8 And then the steel here. So the deck is a nice design, everything about it, you know. I like that these ramps sit flush with the deck so you can load stuff. You know, long 30-foot stuff on here with no problem with the ramps up. So I think that's about it for the things I like about it, though. So now, let's start criticizing. Oh, yeah, the, I forgot about that. That was an option, too, I got. Straps. Very happy with the straps. I think they could have used a better quality strap. But, hey, you know, whatever. It is what it is. Let's get into some of the things that annoy me about this trailer that I don't like. The first thing I would say is probably just build quality overall. You know, the welds, the paint job, 
all that stuff. Now, I understand this isn't a Diamond C that costs $30,000. You know, this is a Kaufman trailer. So, you, you know, they're good trailers. I'm not going to sit here and say it's a bad trailer. So, you kind of get what you pay for. Uh, if you're wondering, this trailer at the time when I purchased it was $16,500. Exactly. You know, they give you a little discount with cash. So, that's that. So, anyways, here you go. Some of the things that I can complain about. It's just some of the welding just looks pretty crappy. Especially, I mean, like, look at that. It just looks horrible. You know, just the way that they did it. And then you can see the the paint. The trailer's dirty, so it actually hides it pretty good. But you got splatter all over the place. Um, where else? You know, it's just the welds aren't that beautiful. And the paint has runs in it. If it's paint or powder coat, I think it's paint. But obviously, you can see that it's horrible quality paint, too. Because, I mean, this trailer hadn't been used all that much. And the paint is just coming off of it. I mean, you look at this trailer wrong, the paint's coming off just everywhere i mean look at these ramps just from the couple times something's driven up here that's where the ramp lays on the ground does not take much and the paint's just falling off this trailer so i'd be willing to say in five years this trailer looked like a rusted out pile but you know no big deal sand it down a little bit put you some some uh oil-based black paint on it and you'll be good to go um one thing i don't like I like the toolbox, I also don't like it. Now, I saw a Gator-made trailer that really made me question why I bought a Kaufman. Now, I'm not saying not to buy a Kaufman, because for what you get, you know, it's a reasonable value. Um, it's not your Diamond C trailer. It's not anything else. It is what it is. Latch already is annoying. You have to pull it open and push it back to get it. I know that's just a matter of tightening. Uh, why is the toolbox so small? The Gator-made toolbox is huge. This one here, you can't hardly even fit any binders in it without them just, you know, getting in the way. And then why do I have to sit here and hold the lid and pull chains out with one hand? It's so stupid. On the Gator Maid, when you lift it up, there's like a little thing that clicks over and holds it. And you just press the thing and it comes down. So that's why I have this stupid wire right here. Just something temporary so I can do that and get my chains out. You know, I'm going to eventually come up with something. I might just screw a chain to here is what I'm thinking. Like self-tap a chain or weld it. And then I'll just hook it to here or something. You know, I want to do something because this is just ridiculous. That's probably one of my bigger complaints about the trailer is that toolbox. I think it could be a lot better. On the Gator Maid, another thing I saw was that looked a lot better. Is See, this rub rail here is like, this is welded tight and that's, you know, tight. So there's no room to get a lot of ratchet straps in these pockets. They don't fit. Well, on the Gator Maid, these pockets are a little bit bigger. They come out further, and then they also have a round pipe going from the frame to this rub rail. So less likely to bend your rub rail, and you can fit bigger chain hooks, bigger things in them. So it just seemed like a really good design. As far as everything else goes, though, I don't remember. I think it was about the same. So overall, very happy with this trailer for the money I paid. It's been a good trailer. I think it'll last me a long time for what I do. This happened from hauling a 259 cat skid steer with studs in the tracks. And I happened to forget about the studs. And then I went to do a full U-turn to drive off facing straight. And yeah, that happened. And then when we hauled Gary the 7.3, it leaked oil all the way from North Carolina out here to Montana. So we have oil all over the trailer. And then I live on a gravel road, so then the dust just stuck to the trailer. Something terrible because it's covered in oil. But anyways, you get the point trailer has been used and abused but overall it pulls good 80 miles an hour no problem no vibrations trailer brakes work great very happy with the trailer so i hope you guys enjoyed the review and this video but we're going to continue on about our day and i might video some more we'll just you know show some of the things we're going to do today so if you're just here for the kaufman trailer review then thank you guys for watching please leave a like and subscribe comment down below what your thoughts are on the kaufman what trailer would you buy and why thanks for watching baby joe so yeah we've got a good mess to clean up today uh we've got to mow some grass we got big gold started yesterday needs a new yoke on the back of the or the front of the diff because the drive shaft's hanging so i want to fix that get that truck running again another thing we have to do we had a bear invasion last night so we got to clean up a bunch of trash that got scattered everywhere i don't recommend leaving trash anywhere Got the Minty 86 here. Still fires right up every single time. Yeah, see, there's our mistake. Anyways, we might, you know, take this, go fill up the water again. 
the water tank's a good setup if you guys live somewhere like I do where you don't have a well yet because it takes forever for people to get out here and do it. $270 to get you a tank, 200 gallons. You got to get a couple reducers here. And then I just have like this this uh, this uh, bowl valve that you turn, open, on, and it works. I pressure washed my 6.7 with it last night. Worked great. You could tell the pressure washer had to work a little bit because I think it was mainly pulling the water because, you know, there's not a lot of pressure coming out of there, obviously. Anyways, that's running great on mixed gas. Let's go over here and show you the 6.7. We got to get everything switched over to the 7.3 as we're about to work out of that. 6.7 is going to get new tires, new U-joints in the front wheels, front axle, because they're shot. Threw the 8-inch tip back on last night. I didn't bolt it down yet. You know, I don't know if I want to leave it or not. Anyway, 6.7 is clean, very clean for where I live live on gravel so i can't even get to town with it being clean still yeah the u-joints are shot they rattle every time you hit a bump sound horrible the tires as you can see are completely bald that's about 33 or 34 thousand on those tires a lot of abuse so i'm not too disappointed in them but i'm also not too impressed if that makes sense so yeah six seven's going to the shop getting some stuff done so we got to clean everything out of the bed we got to open up the toolbox here get all these tools switched over to the beautiful 7.3. I need to rotate these tires severely. The fronts are like brand new. The back's like more than half worn. See, I got the deer antenna on here. I got this nice weather guard toolbox I bought for this truck. So yeah, we'll clean this up, get it all organized today. We'll probably pressure wash this truck too, just for the heck of it. Maybe touch up some spots, maybe even paint the frame, make it look a little bit more presentable. I've also got some, don't tell anybody, but I got some F-350 badges I want to put on here because the tailgate has an F-350 badge and plus I want to look cool. But here's a 7.3. My girlfriend just cleaned it up before she left, kind of. Not a detailed job, obviously, but you know, good wipe down. 154,662 miles on this truck. She reset my trip meter too, I swear I'd kill her. I ought to just go ahead and kill her. I had the trip going so I could test my fuel mileage, but I guess I'll reset it again, and then I'll do the fuel mileage test again. Gee whiz. Anyways, this is a pretty mint little truck. Runs great. Uh, has a tuner on it. You know, I need to get a new radio in. It looks like she threw the radio back in it. I hope she didn't plug it in, because I'd rip it out again out of a fit of rage. But yeah. Nice truck. Runs, does the trick. Two-wheel drive, but, you know, it's summertime, so we ought to be fine without it. You can see we hand do our laundry. I got some cleaning up to do. I just got all my boots oiled up. Got Baby Joe's toolbox there I built. This is her toy box. She already pulled all her toys out. I didn't fill it back up. We threw a 7.3 badge on it. So all the boots are oiled. These ones are on the dryer because they stunk and were a little wet. But yeah, so this is what it looks like inside the compound. Compound in North Carolina. I got those down, as you know. Anyways, I'll carry you guys along with me. We got a lot to do today, a lot of work. In the process of getting the 7.3 ready for a long stretch of work, figured the least we could do is check the oil, and that's a good thing because we were below the ed or below the operating levels. Ah, uh, what do you call it? Two two quarts low. Found this key in the center console. I wonder if it works for this truck. It's a spare. It's, sure is. It's a spare. Well, cool. Anyways, look in the book here. Oh, look, here's my trailer information. See? From way back when i ordered it let's see what did i write anything in here about the oil yeah i did okay weather guard toolbox 940 so i changed the oil on august 10th at 152,784. dang two so that's a quart every thousand miles that's pretty bad isn't it it's not that good but oh well you know i know she burns oil i can tell she smokes a little bit especially cold but not the end of the world we'll just keep adding oil to her she's just gonna chug on along for us she's got brand new interstate batteries I never even wrote that in a book i need to write that down figure out when i bought those september of some time time to give her her first bath well we got the 73 all washed up now we're transporting tools from this toolbox to that one and then we'll clean the beds of these trucks out make sure everything's switched where it needs to be and then we're going to paint the wheels and rotate the tires. <laughs> 